Hello guys, this is Dennis, the bike mechanic, and uh, this is Jeff. Jeff, please be, say a few words about yourself. Well, I'm uh, quite old to be starting to ride a bicycle, but uh, I'm sure I'll manage. How old are you? How old am I? Uh, 96. 96. Very good. So this is a Bentelli Trio. Very nice trike. I love it. It is really compact. Basically, that is what he needs to go, to go around the neighborhood. The main thing that you need to remember, holding brakes. Yeah. Okay, brakes. Display, mechanical gears, throttle, both brakes. This thing is releases the pivot. We won't touch it yet. So this is for experienced riders. It has three buttons here. On, plus, and minus. So, the bike is so. Let me go from the very beginning. All the brakes, all the brakes. Press the brake, good. This brake too? Does, uh, yes, you can hold both brakes. So, the bike has uh, the battery, and in order to start the bike, you need to start the battery. So, you twist it in off position, this is a uh, position to eject the battery. This is off position and the battery is locked. And this is on. So right now, the battery is on. You can see indicator that will show the charge. So first step is there. The second step is to start the actual bike. Press and hold the on button for a few seconds. And then you will see the display and settings. Level of assistance, current speed, time, odometer. For the first setup, you may want to change the maximum speed on the trike. So what you do here is you press and hold plus and minus button for a few seconds and it will give you setting menu. Then you press the power button to change the mode. Right now it shows miles per hour and go to kilometers an hour okay we change to miles an hour then pressing this button to change the maximum speed you can change it up to this is way too fast we're not gonna do that so we will limit it until like 15 miles an hour maybe 10. um okay 10 miles an hour, and that's it. End of uh, settings. Um, when you press on the brake, uh, brakes are deactivating throttle. So in order to start the bike, gently press on throttle. However, your second hand you shall put here. And uh, when you need to stop it, or when you need to stop the motor, press on the brakes, press the brake. Yes, squeeze, squeeze brake. Squeeze the brake. Squeeze oh, the brake. Break. Squeeze the brake. Yes. Yes, yes. Good. So when the brake are brakes are engaged, brakes engaged, throttle doesn't work. When the brakes are off, throttle works. Okay. I so see. Let's uh, go gently over there, over there, straight. So press it gently. Gently press on the brake. Oh, you're pedaling. Okay. You are on, in the first level of assistance. Oh, hold the brake, hold the brake, hold the brake. Good, good. Don't go too fast. Okay, okay. Okay, careful, careful, hold on. Let me do it on a, with a zero level of assistance. Okay. Okay. Now, if you can, if it's difficult for you to start, you can press on throttle to give you a small assistance. Don't, don't press it too hard, just a little touch. And now, and then press on the brake, okay? Now, okay, now let's make a turn and go backward. Let's make a turn. Okay, right now the speed is has zero level of assistance. 
Keep going, keep going. Look forward. Okay, careful. Now, when you feel that you need more juice, press on throttle. It will press it gently, just a little touch. No need to press all the way down. Jeff, okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Good. Okay. The left wheel is operating with the gears and uh, on the right wheel is a brake. Jeff, let's make a turn. Okay, here we go. Jeff is on his own, exploring neighborhood on a trike. I'm impressed. Very good. I see you can travel by yourself. <laughs> very good, very good. So, uh, at first, learn how to ride, operate the bike, go slowly, do not engage this lever okay leave it leave it alone later when you feel that you need to on a in a tight turns you need to make a left or right you can engage it but as a default don't touch it okay let me show you can you please dismount and i will show you how it works with when this lever is engaged so when when the lever is engaged you can move left on a regular bicycle and that will allow you to make like on a traditional bike however when you stop you disengage the lever the bike gets stable and you can dismount but uh, again use it very considerably uh, because if you stop when it's engaged you can follow Okay, so, so this is for adva advanced riders. So. so this is the charger. It looks like that. This goes into the outlet. This goes into the battery. 
I just make you want to make sure that you will not do a one silly thing one of my customers so the battery has two sides I wrote here charge and discharge on this side I just want to would like to warn you please do not do this don't do this okay don't put it here and don't put it into the outlet this is wrong my customer called me told, told she told me we burned all the outlets in the house we don't know how to charge the battery i told her hey you're doing it wrong you need to put the charger in on this side put the charger here and then this goes into the outlet only like that okay here's the cable that you connect to the discharge side and uh, now you can operate the bicycle turn the power on no oh, i didn't turn it on turn the power on here we go we have just oh the bike by default bike goes into level one pedal assist you want to deactivate it you uh, switch it into zero so when you pedal the bike will not give you any assistance however when you need assistance you can always press the magic button and the bike will give well the bike will start moving for you okay sometimes you need when you make a tight turn you need to uh, give some assistance Okay, now Jeff is going on the slope, so he needs to balance his body to keep the bike straight. That is one of the most challenging parts to go on a slope sidewalk. I guess we're good. Now you can go into the park yeah. to spend some time. Thanks, you guys. That was Dennis, the bike mechanic, and Jeff, a new owner of the trike. <laughs>